Hey everybody, haven't had much time to work at the bench in the last couple of weeks because work has been brutally busy and it's going to get even worse here for a while. But uh, I do have several projects I'm working on. I have bits and pieces of multiple videos started but uh, nothing put together yet. But we'll get something up here in a little bit. Anyway, I thought this would be just interesting. This is a very short video. Uh, this is a piece of test equipment you may not see unless you work in the medical imaging field. Uh, it is called a milliamp and mass meter, or MAS, which stands for MA seconds or milliamp seconds. So the purpose of this is to not only to just measure current and only in the milliamp scale, it can only go up to two amps maximum, but it also measures milliampere seconds. And why would you want to do that? <laughs> so what it's going to do is it's going to measure the amount of milliamps over a period of time. That's very important in the x-ray industry because that's one of the parameters that we use to determine what type of x-ray dose you're administering to the patient. Uh, the voltage that's applied across the x-ray tube and the amount of current flowing through the tube and for how long that current is flowing through that tube, th those all add up to, uh, to determine the amount of radiation that a patient is being exposed to on an x-ray machine. So this piece of equipment helps us to calibrate that and to measure it. And this thing came in uh, we just wanted to test it to make sure it works and then we'll check for accuracy uh, out with other equipment. But I just want to see real quickly if it works. And uh, if you turn it to this setting here, it is, it's just a, an amp, amp meter. That's it. It checks current. And if you go this way, it will check current over time. And it can also check DC or AC current. We're just going to check DC current. If you set it to AC, there's a bridge rectifier in there and a little bit of compensation for the voltage drop across the rectifier that uh, it will put into the circuit. So let me plug in a uh, current limited power supply that actually will act a little bit like a current source for us. And uh, we're going to connect this to an oscilloscope and just get a rough estimate if this thing works. All right, so I have a connector here. These two wires are going to a power supply. And in the positive lead, I've inserted this little micro switch. And yes, you're going to have a little bit of switch bounce, but I'm not worried about that right now. Again, we're not checking for high accuracy. We're just checking for basic functionality. And I have this little breakout cable that's going up to the oscilloscope. We're going to capture the waveform, measure the, the actual width of the waveform and the current and we're going to calculate the MAS. We call it mass. This is called a mass meter in our industry and uh, that's actually a, a thing. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do, I'm going to put on the power supply. I have it set to approximately 100 milliamps and if I push in my little switch in the milliamp mode, we should read somewhere around 100 milliamps. So let's see what we get. And right there, 100.5. So that's good. So we do know that this is working very well. And that is what our power supply is set to as well. Now if I go to mass, what we're going to do is I'm going to set the oscilloscope. And if you look up here, Here's our scope. Uh, when I capture the waveform, we're going to measure it. All right. So here we go. We're set into mass mode. We're zeroed out. And I'm just going to randomly turn this on for, for just a moment. And that's 69.1 mass. So then we're going to go up to our scope.
and we're going to go into cursors and I'm going to reach over here and let's see how many milliseconds this is okay and it says we have 695 milliseconds so roughly so if I go point 695 times 100 milliamps I have 69.5 milliamp seconds and you can see it says 69.0 very close and there you have it so it works and anyway that's just what I wanted to show you real quick how these work uh, this looks like it's working just fine how it's supposed to we'll take it out and uh, we will test it on a, a system that has been properly calibrated and uh, make sure everything's working with it and then uh, we'll have another piece of test equipment but before we could actually use this to, we can use this to spot check machines but until it goes out to Keithley uh, or to Fluke Biomedical now and gets certified you know calibration you really can't use it to do a calibration you just kind of use it for some troubleshooting and things but it's a good piece of test equipment these obviously are not really common things so they <laughs> they're not cheap for what they are <laughs> and uh, so it's nice to have to be able to pick up another one when the when the opportunity arises so anyway that's it uh, we'll see you again real soon we're very like I said it's been really busy at work and I apologize I haven't been able to get any videos but uh, just to let you know I have something that has a mess like this inside of it that somebody hacked and that's all I'm going to show you. You're, you you'll just have to find out what it is when we do the video all right everybody take care and we'll see you soon bye-bye